Hello, this is Bini here. Today, I want to address a burning question that I always get asked in my training session will be whether a particular setup or signal can be used in a lower time frame such as a one minute or five minute and which one is better whether to use that in a one minute, five minute signal or to use it in a day or a week. Uh, the other way to look at this question is to ask yourself, which time frame do you think will provide more reliable signal, whether it's a day versus a five minute time frame? All right, I think the answer is quite clear, right? You probably choose a day. And why is that so? Now, if you look at time as a component of money, then the amount of money that's being accumulated in a day will be more than the amount of money that's accumulated in five minutes, isn't it? So whoever is in trading in a day chart, using a day chart, would probably have more money to hold onto a particular trade. And that's the reason why a higher time frame will give a more reliable signal or less noise. Yeah. Today in this video, what I'd like to do is to use a very simple method to help you understand whether a movement is substantial, right, just from the use of time. This video is proudly sponsored by Macquarie. Let's explain the strength of price movement with the concept of time. Say, for example, I have two bars here and each bar represents one week. And we know that price has been stable for the past two weeks. And suddenly there was a breakout. That means price traded higher than the past two weeks. So there was a breakout of this two weeks high. So this would be scenario A. Now versus you have another scenario, which is scenario B, and then price has been stable for the past six weeks. So we have like six uh, weekly bars here. And there was a breakout of this six weeks high. Then my question would be, which one would be a stronger uh, breakout, right? Which one would be a stronger signal? I think that your answer is obvious. It would be B because B shows that one bar had a close above six week high. Okay, so if we equate that every bar has X amount of money, then we know that basically this bar here broke above 6X in terms of the total amount of money, but this bar broke above only 2X, all right? So this is what I'm trying to illustrate here. We can look at the time to help us understand whether a particular breakout is going to be substantial. So let's take a look into one stock, which is Tencent, to illustrate this concept. This is the most updated chart of Tencent. This is the weekly chart and this is what we are looking at live right now. If you take a look at this weekly chart, we know that Tencent moves above and it's breaking out and moving above the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars high. Okay. Now, if we just look a little bit further and let me just draw another line here, we know that Tencent is breaking out above 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the past 12 bars high. Now, this means that this current just one bar is able to overcome the resistance in place since the past 12 weeks. Okay. So the question to you is that, is this going to be a big move? Okay. So we learned that just now that if price had a close above uh, you know, many weeks high, it's going to be more substantial. This is what I want to share from this chart of Tencent here. That means that Tencent is currently showing a little bit of a positive movement because of the concept that one bar has overtaken the price shown in the past 12 bars. Then how can traders make use of this information here? Of course, it's important to look at the volume during that breakout. Uh, we have not seen a, a very substantial volume yet in that breakout. Um, so I think that because of this downward movement in Tencent, which I am looking at still adopting a trading mode. So if you would like to consider short-term trading, one of the instruments to consider would be warrants. And if you are bullish about Tencent, then you can consider the core warrants. If you have a bearish outlook, then you can consider the put warrant. Let me just head into warrants.com.sg page and you can have a look at how to make use of warrants to trade into Tencent. I'm right now at warrants.com.sg under the warrants to choose warrants selector and then scroll down to choose 10 cents. 
So this is Tencent. Tencent has a call and a put warrants. If I'm bullish in future, then I'll be choosing a call warrants. If I'm bearish in future, then I'll be choosing a put warrants. Let me just get a call warrant. You're going to find that these are the call warrants available. The one with a fire logo shows that it is a trending warrants that's trading on a tighter spreads as well as having a higher liquidity and sensitivity. Right, so let's say for example, you would want to know the price of the warrants and we can say that the target price for Tencent, uh, maybe that perhaps it can go into 330, which as the suspected resistance price, then we can see that Tencent warrants might make this potential gain right in a span of two weeks. These are estimated gross returns right, based on this simulation here. I hope that you have gained a lot from me sharing on how I use this very simple technique to evaluate a significant breakout. And if in future you do have any other topics that you want me to discuss, remember to put down in the comment section. And appreciate if you can just give a thumbs up and as well as to subscribe to the channel if you find that whatever that I'm covering is useful. And thanks a lot for Macquarie in sponsoring this video. You can head to warrens.com.sg web page to understand more about trading warrants, especially trading warrants for short-term price movement. And I see you in my next video.